Hey, it's Tom Ferry. Welcome to Life by Design, your place online for ideas, inspiration, and how to stay in the right action. Continuing along with the questions on Facebook, one of the questions was, Tom, why is it so important to use a CRM? And, you know, I kind of scratched my head on this one because every day when I look at the private Facebook groups we have amongst our coaching clients, we'll see the question of, well, do you like this one or that one? They're, like, they're not asking, um, should I use a CRM? They're more about like, which one's gonna give me the best competitive edge? Now, it's interesting that this question comes up, but when I started to do a little more research, consider the following, you ready? Were you aware that only 30% of the agents actually use a CRM? So let's just say there's 1.1 million agents, 330,000 people, have a database and the rest don't. But then I was like, well, that doesn't shock me because we know from the most recent NAR agent survey, only 21% of the agents in the country made $100,000 or more. So everybody else is rolling the dice every day, hoping, maybe reminding themselves, maybe it's in their phone, you know, they've got Outlook, but they never use it. And their entire database, if they have one on their phone, is filled with things like Sam and a phone number. And they have no idea who that person is or any context. That scares me. That's not running a business. That's not being by design. So the third thing I wrote down is consumer, one of their biggest complaints is a lack of follow-up, follow-through, and communication. From real estate professionals, a CRM solves that. Number four, all the money's in lead follow-up. We just did a video on this, and thank you for all the shout-outs. All the money is in the conversion. It's about following up at the right time, saying the right thing, the right message, at the right time. How else are you gonna do at the right time without CRM, putting it in your database, scheduling that call, and following up, ding, reminder to call that person, and here's the context. And then I keep saying context, context marketing is the now. Context marketing, the mistake that we see so many people making is this pray and spray approach. You know, pray and, you know, pray and spray. I did it the other way, pray and spray, but you know what I mean. So we're sending out mass emails instead of context specific. So I love all the CRMs out there. I like Contactually as an example, where Contactually gives you all those buckets and you could say, past clients, former associates, my college friends, my high school buddy, my people I met at open houses, people in my geographic farm, and that big bucket that everyone has called I have no idea who these people are. But once you've got it set up, then you can do context marketing. So I'm marketing and messaging to my friends that went to the same school as me, or the people that I've met at open houses, or people that have visited my website, or potential sellers, or my farming. So I've got context. How else can you do that without a CRM? You can't. Right? So what do we know? Eight out of 10 new agents fail after five years. That's the number we keep hearing from the National Association of Realtors. So if you're watching this video and you're sitting in a room with a bunch of brand new agents, look around the room. Because guess what? If there's 10, eight of you will be out of the business in the next five years. Now, do you think they're retiring in style? Or do you think that they forgot that this business is about relationships, meeting people and creating relationships and contacts, and then communicating and messaging and following up to find out who they know that wants to buy or sell? Or do they want to buy or sell as we're doing all the other marketing and lead generation? It's a relationship-based business at its core. So without a CRM, you're out of integrity with those relationships. No one's going to do business that way. It just doesn't work. And then, what do we know? Over 80% of consumers love their agents and yet only 12% ever use them, refer them, and half the time they forget your name. They're like, uh, she was a really cool gal, she was blonde, she was in real estate, and there was a balloon, right? Or, you know, they're uh, really nice guy, super energetic, um, you know, gray hair, very experienced, and there was a rock. Like, they don't remember. That's a scary thing that they don't remember. The As I'm sitting here thinking about it, I had two hip surgeries when I was young. I can't think of my doctor's name. I don't even know who the guy was, and he, he did two surgeries on me when I was young. You would think I'd remember. Hmm, I wonder if he has a CRM. I wonder if I talk to somebody who has uh, the need for a hip replacement or hip surgery that I can't even refer to the person. Are you getting why you need a CRM? Are you kind of figuring this out? Then, of course, I wrote down the last one, that the average agent just fades away. The average agent just fades away. Like I, I, I say, and I know it's, it's a little dark as I say it. I say, how does the average real estate agent retire? And I say, they go, oh, and they just fade away. Well, I know that's a horrific statement. I get it. It's a little shock value. It makes people laugh in a seminar, but here's my point. There are agents today that sell their book of business that are able to take their book of business and get referral fees for five years or 10 years. Why? Because the value of your business is your database and your relationship and context 
to those people and how they associate to you. If the association is strong, then you can get referral fees forever. And you know what? That's a good thing in this business. And my friends, at the end of the day, it, the question isn't which one, it's just do one, pick one. By the way, here's a little hint. Everyone I, everyone I talk to, all of our clients say the same thing. Every single one of them has good things and bad things, but it doesn't matter as long as you use one. You get your data inside there, you start to work them, you start to mature them, you start to follow up, you put them in all those right campaigns, and guess what? Your business is by design, and that's the goal. So, long rant, thanks for watching. Remember always, your strategy matters, and now more than ever, your passion rules.